it's Faye January Day 22 and today I want to talk about stupid questions. Yes, as a vegan you're going to get asked a lot of questions and a lot of people will be calling them stupid questions. Oh my god, I can't believe they asked me where I get my protein from. It's very easy to get very blasé once you go vegan and you know all the answers because you've read them all um, and you've learned the answer to all these stupid questions. But to somebody who isn't vegan or who's only just really hearing about veganism or considering it for the first times, these may not be stupid questions at all. So today I just want to ask you to have a little bit of patience when you get asked those questions and just remember that you may be the only person they have to ask. Now, I remember a few years ago before I went vegan, um, I think I'd just turned vegetarian and I met my first vegans. Yeah, I only met my first vegans a few months before I went vegan. Um, and guess what I asked them? I asked them where they got their protein. Oh. Okay, now that might seem stupid, but I didn't know. I did not know, okay? And it's like social convention and society teaches us this stuff and we sort of absorb it from popular culture and you end up asking the question because you think that's what you say to a vegan it's like but where'd you get your protein and they said to me oh yeah, no 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 we get it from plants you know it's really not a problem and I was like isn't it quite difficult to get enough and they said no no it's really easy and something clicked in my mind and I thought okay I'll bear that in mind and then a few months down the line I went vegan myself so it was a really good meeting because they weren't nasty they weren't hostile you know and they didn't mock me for asking that question and it's really really important that we remember um, that these are not stupid questions although they might seem stupid to us because it's so obvious once you know but you only know what you know so I'm asking for a little bit of understanding and a little bit of compassion today towards non-vegans when they ask us these questions um, now of course at the other end of the spectrum you're going to get people who ask stupid questions just to be annoying or just because you know you, you've triggered something in them and they're feeling guilty or they just want to wind you up okay that does happen all right the stupidest question that I've ever been asked as a vegan is would you eat a dinosaur yes I'm just going to repeat that would you eat a dinosaur okay now apart from the fact that dinosaurs are all long dead and fossilized and I can't actually ingest stone uh, and when they were alive they were living animals therefore not vegan it, it was the stupidest question ever but this person was just trying to catch me out just really trying to irritate and annoy me and that is really really frustrating and that kind of question that's the stupid kind of question okay the people who ask about protein or who ask about the food groups they, those aren't necessarily stupid questions you know um you don't well not many people necessarily come across vegans in their day-to-day -day life so you may be to them the world's authority on veganism because they've never met a vegan before so try to have a little bit of patience with them you know and answer the questions and yes it can seem repetitive when we get asked the same ones like we get asked about protein and we asked about this and da 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 but it's okay you know we part of the thing about being vegan is that you know you kind of well, not a duty but some of us feel a, a you know a duty to help other people to go vegan and one of the ways we can do that is by educating and by helping people to understand what it is that we do how we're not dead yet no it's fine you're not going to die uh, <laughs> and uh, you know we're not undernourished <laughs> so it is important so try to have a little patience when someone asks you that old protein question or what would you eat if you're on a desert island and, and I think a lot of the time people are just genuinely interested I know I was just genuinely I just wanted to know because I didn't know I'd never met a vegan before to ask the question I didn't want to make trouble I just wanted to know so try to be a little bit understanding when people ask you these questions you'll soon weed out the troublemakers in no time at all don't you worry about that but when people ask you about protein give them a sensible answer because it might turn them vegan <laughs>